Hello, how y'all doing? So today, we got a special video here. Now, I completely, well, I wouldn't say completely, but I went through, changed a bunch of mods, got rid of a bunch of mods, and the mods I primarily got rid of was mods that affected uh, bosses' health, enemies' health, once you start going through the game. Because I feel like in Terraria, once you start getting stronger and stronger, weaker enemies should stay weak and you should stay strong. You should just be becoming more and more strong. But there was a couple mods in there that kept on making it so, you know, the enemies would scale and you get your ass beat by like an enemy that you should be able to easily defeat or somewhat easily defeat. And so I went through, took out a bunch of mods and changed a little couple things here and there. The mods I took out, from what I know, is Pumpkin and Urgen. There might be another one in there that affected health. But those are the two I knew that uh, primarily affected health. Especially uh, Pumpkin and Urgen when it came to bosses and enemies. Fuck. And then previ previous is for enemies. I also took that mod out. Cool. It's a cool mod. But, you know, I just want to just wanna make things more fair for late game. Or, you know, actually have fun with becoming more and more strong. But in this video, we're going to go over the new mods I added in. Uh, and hopefully I remember which new ones I added in. Because there's a good couple of ones I added in, and then there's also a couple that I kept. Uh, wing slot I kept. NBC name show. So this mod, pretty much, you know, you can just see an NPC's name without having to scroll over them or put your mouse over them. And yeah, sure to respond. Finny, we had these ones. Calamity gave us ones. Quality of life. This adds in a couple accessories. Insight reborn. Now I think this mod. What this does, you can put your mouse over a chest and it shows you like the first couple of items from the chest, which is always nice, like a little preview. Uh, elemental weapon enhancements. This puts like elemental damage on weapons, so like, I don't know, a wooden sword can have earth damage. Uh, let's say a fiery weapon will have fire damage, of course. Stuff like that. And then scroll down, we have the... I'm Sushi name pack. Now this gives a couple of items from Vanilla Terraria that had like plain and boring names. It gave them a little, like a new name, a little bit of spice. That's so spice, not too spicy though. But that is all that I added surprisingly. Because we are waiting for some couple, a couple of mods to be coming out. And that's why I'm not changing the whole entire thing. <coughs> Spirit mod, waiting for that mod. And once that drops, there's gonna be a lot of devotion to that mod, cause that's gonna be a big mod. But yeah, we're gonna head into a test world here. And we're gonna generate a new world. So there should be a couple biome things here and there. We will generate, we'll generate a small world, I guess. And uh, might as well generate an expert, random, name of the world. Perfect. All right, here we are. Beautiful world. I was messing with some stuff before. Don't worry about it. Beautiful world here. Is this a small world? What the fuck? Is this a small world? Yeah, it is. Okay. Whoa, tripping. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look here. See if we can find some new terrain that generated. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh. Oh, never mind. That's not new terrain. It's just a jungle tree. Very odd placement for a jungle tree. Jungle and desert combined together. I don't think I've seen that. So uh, I'm, I'm rocking this thing. I haven't made this yet in a playthrough. Hmm. Probably need to make this. I, th I, I think I was stuttering i think i was looking at this in uh the last playthrough the one we just finished oh here's here's one of the mods right here here's the npc name showing one whoa my boy tried to hit me but he missed yeah there's that one very cool very cool indeed but let's see if we can find any biomes aha i know where we can find a biome real quick real real quick can, do i move faster like this Let's just head down here, just for a quick peek, because I don't want to do too much here. I want to be like very, like open to this whole new area once I get to it. But we'll get a little peek in here. This is the aquatic depths biome, and uh, the music is bumping. This is some dope ass music, and I can't wait to come here. I can't wait to come here. In fact, if I do do the hardcore playthrough. The goal will be to do something with that, or I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, biomes. So the biomes from the Gabe has ones mod. Well, not biomes, but the new uh, terrain generation should be up high. They should be sky islands. Uh, is this one of them? No, this is a regular sky island. Can I fit through that? Oh, I can't fit through that. It's a regular sky island. Very odd shaped sky island. 
Hold on, I gotta hit the floor real quick. Because apparently I ran out of flight midair. But let's see if we can find one. Aha! Right here. A mushroom sky island. Now look at that. This is really cool. This is really cool. Especially since recently, I think in the ranger world, I built that crimson sky island. Which is pretty cool. And I like the idea of having more sky islands, more variety up above. Now I know that's not all. I know there's a couple more here. But this seems to be the one. Aha! Here we go. Uh, hey, how you doing? This island right here. I don't know what this island is, actually. I don't know what block that is. I know they have trees, though. So if we keep looking, look how much expansive the sky island is. Now, this has got me thinking. And I'm going to need your guys' opinions on this maybe later. Maybe I'll make a separate video for it. But I need your guys' opinions on uh, whether or not I should start a new world for the ranger playthrough. I did spend, like, a good couple of, you know, uh, days designing you know stuff in a good couple hours maybe not days but i spent a good couple of hours designing the uh ranger biome the not ranger biome the ranger playthrough things and things as in the buildings and stuff but i don't mind starting a whole new world especially when like we can have all of these islands connected more easily than the way i'm doing it i'm hoping for these saplings to grow because I, I really want to see what this biome or get a sense of what the trees from the biome is called and i'm calling that a biome because it's different it's different is there trees here i mean i've seen trees a couple of times when i was testing this earlier but uh, yeah the aquatic depths biome that's on both sides of the world let's see if we can see the other one real quick just the entrance to the other one not actually go inside the other one. Oh, i can show off the uh preview mod look at that that's so cool that's a really cool feature so let's head over here to the left. Eh. All right, probably get back in this. This is way faster. Hello. Oh my God! Look how fast it spins underwater. Is it down here? Oh wait, maybe it isn't on. Oh no, it's not on both sides. It's on the side where the jungle is. Okay, yeah, I remember reading about that. So it's on the side where the jungle is. So that's good to know. So we're gonna head underground really quickly. What is the best way to head underground? Probably teleportation potions because there should be a new biome from the game as one's mod 2 that is underground i hope so let's see if i can find it all right i'm not really seeing the biome i teleported it around a good couple of times not seeing anything so i don't know if it's fully implemented yet there's a pretty high possibility it's pretty high possibility that it isn't can i get this out of my hands please Guys, help. It won't get out of my hands. But yeah, that is all with the new mod pack. I just want to show you guys really quickly, though. Before I end this off, while you're generating the world, it will actually say, like, a mod is generating this part of the biome. Which I... Th I don't know if it says Fatorium, but for the Gabe is Ones mod, yeah, there it is right there. It might say Fatorium. Maybe I wasn't paying attention when Thorium did it. But let's take a look here. That's a really cool feature. I do enjoy that. I'm looking at this, trying to see if we see anything about aqu aquatic depths. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's something. There's some little things there. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I don't know if I'll have all the links anymore in the description because some mods, you know, some mods I can't find on the forum. So I might just put the mod's name and we'll, we'll see from there. Maybe in the future I'll change it. But for now, it's just going to be the mods, the bond names, and then slowly I'll start adding the links again. But, uh, 